scientists are ready to resurrect 10 extinct animals. There are two diametrically opposed processes happening in the world today. Some animals are on the brink of extinction either because of climate changes or due to the activity of poachers. At the same time, scientists are almost ready to bring back some species that have been long gone. How cool is that? Maybe in the not-so-distant future, we'll see a living T-Rex. Eh, hardly. These dangerous creatures aren't on the VIP list, but some of our most beloved characters from the Ice Age movies definitely are. Before you find out who scientists want to resurrect, be sure to subscribe to The Bright Side of Life. We've got tons of videos coming out every single day, so don't forget to ring that little notification bell to turn on post notifications. Instead of using the controversial term cloning, scientists prefer to say, make unextinct. Tomato, tomato, the idea is the same. An animal that died out thousands of years ago can't be brought back to life unless it's cloned. And therein lies the problem. For successful cloning, scientists need to have almost completely undamaged animal DNA. That's why some species are more likely to be resurrected than others. Those animals that died out not so long ago are better candidates for unextinction. They might still be preserved in museums or in permafrost that formed during the most recent ice age. For that reason, dinosaurs aren't going to appear anytime soon. Too much water has gone under that bridge. But the following animals have good chances to roam this planet once again. 10. The Woolly Mammoth While most of the woolly mammoths died out about 10,000 years ago, there was a population of about 500 to 1,000 of them living on Wrangell Island as recent as 1650 BCE. The woolly mammoth was roughly the size of an African elephant. It had a shoulder height of 11 feet, and it weighed no less than 6 tons. Their thick, double-coated fur, as well as their small ears, helped these fluffy elephants survive harsh conditions and protected them from heat loss and frostbite. Many specimens have been discovered frozen in the Arctic tundra so it seems quite possible to use their DNA to make new mammoths. Researchers at Harvard are planning to create an embryo that will be a hybrid of an Asian elephant and a woolly mammoth. This animal has already got the nickname Mammophant. It'll look like an elephant, but with smaller ears, shaggy hair, and blood adapted for the cold. 9. The Saber-Toothed Tiger this pretty kitty was about the size of your typical modern-day big cat. It weighed from 200 to 600 pounds and could get up to 13 feet long. The saber-toothed tiger usually had a muscular neck, bobbed tail, powerful front legs, and dagger-like teeth that protruded from the upper jaw and could grow just under a foot long. Just look at those teeth! Now, I can't help but think are you 100% sure we need to resurrect this creature? In any case, these felines are good candidates to be brought back to life. They disappeared just 11,000 years ago. On top of that, their original habitat was pretty cold. So, like the mammoth, their fossils have remained mostly intact. 8. The Moa the moa was a huge flightless bird that looked like an ostrich, minus the wings. We know of about 10 members of the moa family. Some were no bigger than a turkey, while others reached a height of 10 feet, making this bird the largest that has ever inhabited our planet. Moas were enthusiastically hunted just 600 years ago. This brought the history of the bird to its end. At the same time, due to such a recent time of extinction, remnants of their eggs and feathers can still be found even today. Actually, moa DNA has already been extracted from discovered eggshells. 7. The Ground Sloth Just take a gander at the skeleton of this gigantic creature. You might assume it's some sort of a huge bear, but it is, in fact, a sloth. Well, a ground sloth, to be more precise. And its closest relatives are indeed the slow and almost slumbering three-toed tree huggers we know today. Ground sloths are likely to be successfully resurrected since they were still walking the earth about 8,000 years ago. Even better, some samples of their DNA have already been received from undamaged hairs of this animal. On the other hand, it might be a bit difficult to find a surrogate mother for the clone baby. After all, the nearest modern-day relative of the ground sloth is too small to carry a creature the size of a bear. Scientists are contemplating the possibility of using an artificial womb. 6. The Dodo 
the poster child for animal extinction, this famous flightless bird became extinct just 80 years after it had been discovered. Its only known habitat was Mauritius Island, where the dodo had been living peacefully for who knows how long until the Dutch showed up in the 1590s. Unfortunately, because they'd never seen a human before, they had no fear of people, so it was all too easy to club the creatures to death. These clumsy birds were quite big, a little over 3 feet tall and heavy, weighing up to 39 pounds. All these factors combined made them an easy prey for humans. However, the dodo may soon become unextinct. Scientists just need to collect some more DNA samples and implant them into eggs of the dodo's closest relative, the pigeon. 5. Woolly Rhinoceros Besides the woolly mammoth, there's one more fluffy extinct creature, the woolly rhinoceros, that scientists want to bring back. This animal still lived in the Arctic snows pretty recently, about 10,000 years ago. This furry rhino is quite famous too. It often makes an appearance in ancient cave arc, like in the French Chevet Point Arc cave. The woolly rhinoceros has the same chances of being resurrected as the mammoth. Arctic permafrost has done a great job at preserving quite a lot of specimens. 4. The Irish Elk The Irish Elk, also called the Giant Deer, was one more animal that didn't quite manage to survive the Ice Age. This creature mostly died out about 12,000 years ago, but researchers have discovered Irish Elk fossils in Siberia that are only 7,000 to 8,000 years old. And if you thought moose were big, get a load of this guy! It was 7 feet tall just at its shoulder and its antlers could extend 12 feet across. The Irish elk lived in the north, and its preserved remains have already been found in the melting permafrost. If they bring this giant back, it'll be a sight to see. 3. The Baiji River Dolphin This poor creature went extinct in 2006, making it the first cetacean, that's whales, dolphins, and porpoises, to die out directly due to the negative impact of human activity. It's obvious by now that since the extinction is quite recent, there's a sea of DNA samples at hand to make resurrection pretty much a guaranteed success. Unfortunately, there's one burning question. Will the Baiji River dolphin have a home to come back to even if it does become unextinct? The dolphin's habitat, the Yangtze River system, is extremely polluted. 2. The Siberian Unicorn Don't let your imagination run too wild. This animal was more like a rhino than a gracious horse. At first, scientists believed that this creature died out 350,000 years ago. But a Siberian unicorn skull discovered in Kazakhstan proved that the animal had actually disappeared just 29,000 years ago. That's good news for people who want to see a real unicorn someday. I mean, it is technically a unicorn. Sure, it's a far cry from the magical fairy tale type, but it did have one big horn coming out of its skull. The Siberian unicorn was 15 feet long, 6 feet tall, and its weight reached a whopping 9,000 pounds. There you go, folks. That's what a real unicorn looks like. Sorry to put a damper on the fantasy. 1. The Neanderthal And last, but certainly not least, but definitely the most controversial, we have the Neanderthal. The idea of resurrecting this species evokes the most heated debate. The main reason is logistics, since the closest surrogate species would have to be a human. On top of that, Neanderthals are believed to be a subspecies of modern people. So, while cloning them would be very enlightening, it could also be quite unethical. In any case, bringing the Neanderthal back would be the easiest task of them all. Scientists already have a map of its genome. It's not a question of whether or not we can. But if we should… What's your take on all of this? Should we bring back extinct species? Which one would you want to see the most? Let us know in the comments. Remember to give this video a like if you found it interesting. And subscribe to our channel. There's lots of cool stuff on the bright side of life.